Welcome pilots of the virtual skies. Today a quick video on how to import your sim brief data including your full weight and balance figures and your flight plan into the McDo and into your uh, airplane. Don't have to type any route information. Don't have to figure out your center of gravity or your uh, block fuel and not only can you enter the data into the McDo but you can load the plane with your uh, zero gross weight and your fuel as well. So watch and this will save you monstrous amounts of time um, next time you want to go flying. Okay, uh, starting from scratch here on a generic sim brief plan, you can do you can add in all your own parameters, Delta Flight 43. We're going to go from uh, Kilo MGM, that's Montgomery, Alabama. We're going to Atlanta today, Kilo ATL. Uh, we have a uh, alternate of Nashville. I'm going to choose the A32NX airframe and I'm going to leave pretty much all of this automatic. Again, if you wanted to tweak with your runways or tweak with your zero fuel weight, you certainly can, but you don't need to. And I'm going to push generate OPP. Okay, now all that block fuel data, gross weight data, it's all being calculated. And you can look at the route if you want. There's our route. I'm not even going to look that hard at it. I'm just going to push that off to the side. And I'm going to go into a flight simulator and create a flight from Montgomery KMGM. And I'm just going to put us at any gate, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to select Atlanta for arrival. Oh, actually, no. I, I won't even select Atlanta for the arrival. Let's not put anything in there at all. Um, let's just generate the flight. We're going to do all the flight planning through the McDo. So the at this point right now, the simulator, all it knows is that we're sitting at a gate in Montgomery. Uh, with a default fuel load and uh, zero fuel weight, uh, passenger load. It doesn't know anything, but we're going to tell it through SimBrief, and we will have to type very, very little. This, I, I know for some die, you know, I was the same way, especially coming up uh, flying Boeings. I got into the habit of having quite a workload with the performance calculator and a uh, figuring out my center of gravity and my and my fuel weight and it was all uh, a process. Well, that process is radically changing thanks to this AN32 in uh, mod. Okay, so let's get some lights turned up here, and maybe a light will get turned on down here. We'll get our external power, our batteries, our nav light, beacon light, emergency exits armed. We'll test the APU. We'll get the ADIRs started in their alignment process. And that will be good for now. Now is where the magic will happen. Okay, so what we need to do is go into Atsu, AOC menu, go to Initiate menu, and Initiate Data Request. This is going to request the information from your SIM brief. And here it is. Montgomery to Atlanta. Uh, there's our flight number. Go to the next page. Um, this is after the flight is over. You can come back here and you can tell them what time you left, what time you got back, uh, did you use auto land, uh, what your flight time was, who the landing pilot was. So this is all to be filled in after you've landed. And then you can, if you want to request the weather, 
You can request a METAR. Let's say we'll get one from Kilo Montgomery. We'll also get one from Atlanta. And I believe our alternate was Nashville. So we will get those METARs. We'll push send. And now you can also get a TAF, a Terminal Aerodrome Forecast. Now METARs are actual weather, but TAFs are forecast weather. You can certainly do that. Then you can come back here and you can get an ATIS, um, Kilo, MGM, that's our departure, send, Kilo ATL for our arrival. Send. Uh, oh, change this to McDo so you get the uh, data on your McDo and not a printer. Um, Kilo Nashville. That's our, well, it's our alternate, but I'm going to put it as en route. Oops. Lost it. Kilo, Bravo, November, Alpha, send that. Okay, so all that's weather requests. Now comes for the meat and potatoes. Perform weight and balance. Now, here's our operational flight plan request. We're going to request for, from SimBrief that we get our operational flight plan. And there it goes. Okay, so there's our block fuel. Now, Mine's in pounds because that's what I have my airplane set up as. But you can uh, change that. Okay, now here's what the sim brief calculated, but that's not what's on the airplane. Let's look what's on the airplane. It is uh, 2840 pounds, and we need 12607 pounds. So I'm going to hit the load button. Now, notice that the airplane just loaded the amount of fuel from my flight plan. I'm going to go to the second page. Now here's our payload weight. 149 passengers. There's our zero fuel weight. There's our uh, center gravity. There's our center fuel weight. Here's our payload. Now I'm going to push load and now our aircraft is now loaded with that payload. So I'm going to go back to the AOC mender. We've received some messages. Remember all those weather requests that we made? Well here they are. ATIS, 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 TAF, METAR. So let's go to the first one. Uh, ATIS not available, but you can page through all of these. Atlanta, uh, this is a uh, information Quebec. This is the ATIS from Atlanta. Information Quebec, uh, when, uh, there's a timestamp, 280 at 6, 10 miles, statute visibility. Broken clouds at 2,800, broken at 6,000, broken at 20, uh, flight level 200. Um, simultaneous departures, departure runways 26 left, 26 right, expect RNF. So that is your uh, ATIS from Atlanta. Uh, ATIS from Montgomery is not available. Here's a, a forecast for Montgomery. Here's a METAR from Montgomery and a METAR from Atlanta. Overcast 330, temperature 18, dew point 9. Closer these numbers are together, that means uh, more chance of fog. Uh, higher the altimeter setting means a high pressure. It's going to be a clear day. Doesn't necessarily mean a hot day, but it means a clear day. Um, if that number is lower, then there's more uh, uh, density, air density, there's more. Uh, moisture in the air. Okay, so anyway, that is all the weather that we requested. So let's go back and um, let's see what else I would like to cover here. Okay, so that was all from the AOC menu. Uh, initiate weather requests, ATIS requests, and weight and balance all from your SimBrief flight plan. Next, we have the data link status. This is how the airplane is getting its information. It's not coming from a satellite. It's not coming on high frequency. It's coming on a regular radio data link. 
And the last one is a comm menu. If your radios go out and you need to talk to air traffic control, you can do that through this pad. You can go to ATC menu, you can make position reports, you can uh, have an emergency, uh, descending to, diverting to, pan, 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 mayday. Um, these are things you can do without having a radio. Um, you can record a message. You can request direct. Um, okay. So that is from the ATC menu. So that's uh, Atsu, Atsu AOC is what you want to remember there. And then the other options, if you need to change um, from pounds to kilograms, you can do that. Let's say you made your SIM brief in kilograms and you need all the information on your airplane to display as kilograms. You just change that to kilograms and now look at the fuel. The fuel is now in kilograms and all your uh, flight information from your SIM brief should match. Anyway, quick little video. Hope that gives you some insight in the wonderful connectability of, oh, oh, by the way, um, so look what I did here. I went to uh, FMGCU, oops, 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 I'm sorry. I went to, uh, ah. Ah, I went to options, then to FMCU, oops, I'm sorry, options, oh, that's not it either, <laughs> options and then AOC, options and then AOC, and then you can choose SIM brief, and all you need to do is type in your SIM brief name, user ID, actually, I think it's an either or. Either use your SIM brief name, or if you happen to know it, your user ID. But there's no password. Uh, it's one or the other of these fields. And that's how um, the software gets the information. Anyway, quick video. I hope that helps someone. And I'm loving this new mod. Hope you are too. Bye.